Okay, so now we're ready to move on to the next step. One of the things you're going to find in playing jazz, especially with wind instruments like um, saxophone or um, uh, trumpet, it, is that there will be a lot of flat keys when we're playing. So you need to know your names of all of the frets of your guitar. You need to know how flats and sharps work. So let me just show you um, how that works. It's, it's, it's really quite simple. Let's take a couple of names of notes that you've already established as you were um, working. Let's work on our sixth string, and we're going to take a look at the note B. So if I come up here, I already know, and you should know at this point, that the seventh fret of the sixth string is the note B. And we've established that the fifth fret of that same note is the note A. But what is this pitch in between? Well, if we're working in flat keys, it is a B flat. Here's our B, we move back one, B flat. I move back another one to the fifth fret, this is A. And if we go down one half step, that's A flat. Move down another one, this is G. And a half step below that is G flat. Of course, one more we already know is F. And the open string is E. A great way to practice knowing the names of all of the flat named notes on your guitar is to do it in both directions. We can start at the octave, E, move back, E flat, D, D flat, C. Now, we already know this is B, and remember between B and C, there is no um, black key on a piano. There's, and there is such a thing as C flat, but we're really not gonna deal with it right now. C down to B, B flat, etc. Then, go the opposite direction. E, F, G flat, G, A flat, A, B flat, B, C, D flat, D, E flat, and E. Now, do that for all six strings on your guitar and really know all of the flat note names throughout the fingerboard of your guitar from the first string all the way to the sixth string.